Good morning to you, welcome. It's me and here's a very, very important story because it's come out and uh, whether you believe me or not is entirely up to you but I have a, I have a certain person, a whistleblower, he works in the security industry as a, uh, obviously a security guard, uh, which is regulated uh, by SIA, so they have to buy by the rules uh, of um, doormanship, as it were, and basically he is a person on the door of a supermarket, uh, and he was involved with all of the, the shit that went on uh, in the last two years, having to ask people to wear, you know, face nappies and uh, abide by the social distancing uh, rules that they introduced. And as it turned out, according to Matt Hancock, they were guidelines. So make of it what you want. People abided by it, yet there was no enforcement. And um, I do appreciate that some people did go to court and they did get a fine and they did pay it. But uh, quite clearly, a lot of the fines were illegal and uh, have been proven to be illegal. You have to stand up yourself and say no. Now, this is another time coming up very soon. And this is the urgency of the matter that I'm talking about. Because obviously it's not just the UK, although this guy obviously works in the UK, and he told us in confidence that he's had a letter from his employer, and his obviously his employer has had a, a directive from above, and we all know that the directive from above is the government, so basically health health service, and they've been told they've been told that they have to get prepared for um, lockdowns. These, um, these uh, security people will be on the front line, implying people uh, to wear their uh, nappies and uh, comply with the various made-up rules that they're going to come out with very soon, uh, as they did with two years ago, or three years ago now. So it's nothing new, but they are trying to repeat what they've done just really to finish off what they started. Why are they doing it? Well, we all know. Um, we can't really talk about it much on YouTube because obviously they will get very upset and uh, try and delete my channel. However, it's um, something that's already in the news, and especially with America and uh, Biden, because this story is not just UK, it's also around the world, and this article is in the mainstream. So let's have a look. Gateway Pundit has the article from Biden, uh, Biden regime to reinstate the restrictions beginning with masks as COVID cases rise. Uh, this is the TSA and the Border Patrol whistleblowers. You may know this, uh, obviously TSA, that's uh, the American Security Agency for tra Transport and Travel. So they basically are in airports and they are border control. Uh, if you've ever had a uh, visit to America or Canada, you'll know what they're like. They are uh, very much very oppressive, very uh, 20 questions. Uh, I went to, to America via Canada and basically I was shocked with the amount of questions. Where are you going? What are you doing? How long are you staying for? What is your, what's your hotel? Um, how are you going to get there? What are you going to do when you get here? What are you going to do when you're in America? What are you going to blah, blah, blah. When are you going home? Um, how are you going to support yourself? How much money have we got? Um, all these 20 questions that we had just to get to America. Uh, anyway, that's beside the point. The story here is that the uh, TSA have a whistleblower who have said that this is all coming out uh, very, very soon. In fact, we're in August at the moment, 23rd of August today, and uh, they have to, they're saying that by mid-September, or early September, mid-September, uh, they will be having these um, coming back in. And obviously this is American uh, version, but it's applied 
to ours. So our security guy uh, informed us that in this letter, obviously they were told that um, to get prepared, that they would be on the front line and they would be enforcing these uh, re regulations that they're going to bring in again because obviously they did allegedly they got rid of them in the UK a little while ago uh, because they ran out now whether they uh, renewed it on the sly we'll never know because obviously they were using statutory instruments they don't need any uh, authorization they don't need any regulation they can just bring them in and uh, not tell anybody which obviously what they did they uh, brought these in and um, they were not enforceable uh, for the most part but obviously they're going to try and uh, bring it in again and um, I suspect that people will just go oh oh dear I'm going to comply rather than what they should be doing which is saying no uh, no more and if you're uh, out there going oh god he's on, he's on his um, conspiracy theory hat again with the tinfoil what he said was, uh, we said, uh, oh, well, it's going to be October or November, just in time for Christmas. No, he said it's going to be September. So basically, September is when the shit hits the fan and um, they're going to be bringing this stuff in. As, as it says in the other article, um, the mandates and everything coming in. Specifically, that implies it's for travel. Um, if they are going to be doing all of this business again, then quite clearly people need to stand up and say no. Uh, that is the only way that they're not going to be able to implement this stuff is, is if people say no. Uh, because resistance is not futile. Uh, it is important. And if you don't want it and you're not happy with it, then don't comply. What can they do to you? Now, there are going to be people out there who are going to go, oh, you know, if I don't do it, I'll lose my job. Well, you have to make a decision. Are you going to be standing up for yourself um, in the long term? Because if you don't, com if you comply, then this is just going to carry on. And they're going to win. And this will become permanent. Or are you going to say no? Maybe you put up with a little bit of inconvenience for a little while. But everything will sort itself out. Uh, we will not be in um, a communist state. We will be back in a new world, but not the new world order. Um, so, tell it for you, but please, 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 do not tell me, oh, I can't do it because I'll get me, I'll lose my job, and, and then I won't be able to do this, that, and the other. Uh, yeah, well, you know, as I say, make a decision, put your money where your mouth is, and grow a pair, and, um, support the rest of us who are doing this because there are so many people out there now in the um, social media world and I just read a tweet uh, um, that came out about this subject and there was literally hundreds and hundreds of people saying no way not me not going to comply not going to do it and if they all say yes to this then they just really double uh, double standards hypocritical and really they should all be saying no and then following through with it because this whole thing and i'm going to tell you this is going to be and uh you may want to look into this more the um september why september you're probably asking well as we know without saying too much there is a um a nasal spray okay and it's going to be given to school children from September the implications of that are that it creates other issues uh, namely something called strep obviously with the uh, latest uh, changes in guidelines for YouTube you cannot say anything about health now so literally uh, that will get you deleted, so I'm not even going to say anything about it, but you, you can get the idea that A will create B, and uh, it's well documented, so it's not me making it up, it's not me conspiracy, it's actually fact, it's been proven that this is B is a, uh, what they would call a side effect of A, 
that if you have A, uh, which most people have, uh, what they're going to get uh, from September, which is this nasal thing. Um, and obviously they want to make sure that every child has it. And uh, when they create this B, they will go home and give it to everybody. And then obviously those people that are at home who may have had um, the other alternative, uh, C, if they've had C, and uh, they've had all the other things, D, E, F, and G, then they are going to be at more risk from B when it comes home. And the likelihood is that this whole uh, prediction, especially when it's made by Billy Goats, uh, which is uh, it's going to be even worse than ever before, you can see how this works. So, yeah, just beware that um, really do you have to analyse whether children really need any of this stuff in school. And if you do, then really you haven't done any research whatsoever because quite literally this is what's going to happen. And it's been the catalyst for September because obviously when schools go back in September is when they are rolling this out. So you can pretty much guarantee by the end of September there was going to be some reaction to this and it's going to be the start of everything and they can just turn around and say well it's got so bad we have to lock down again. And this is the whole, the whole aim of this, the whole direction that we're going in. There aren't many people who've said this many times. It's not just me. I'm not the only one. Uh, for example, the guy who's very famous, Alex Jones. Um, I can't mention him and you can't play any of his videos on YouTube because he is banned and uh, you know, even probably just mentioning his name will get me banned. But you know, he is a bloke. He's a man. Um, and he came out with his whistleblower uh, video the other day, which is the um, the one I've done about, which is the TSA uh, whistleblower, who said that all of this is coming back in um, September and October and in time for Christmas. Yeah. So obviously we can see that this, if it goes on and you, you lot let it go on even further, they're going to ban Christmas again. Pretty much you can guarantee it. Absolutely. Uh, that is this is the aim, and why a lockdown? Well, obviously it's all about control again, but also it's about killing off the uh, last of the businesses, last of the small businesses out there that have just survived or managed to get back up and running after uh, the, the lockdown the last time. Um, they want to get rid of them because there's only going to be the very big business, Amazon and and things like that, the um, various uh, f companies that are out there who run the world, and basically the, the various uh, organisations have fingers in pies, and, and obviously this is what they want, control, and they don't want anybody, because obviously you know, the whole cash thing that they, they um, did a U-turn on doesn't mean a thing. Because once there's only big business, they can do whatever they like. So cash will be uh, revoked again, even though they guarantee that it won't be. I'm pretty certain that this is a, a lie, as they lie all the time. Basically, once they've got their way, uh, they will get rid of cash again. Or try to. Um, yeah, it's all very, very coming together now. Um, I've said this to my sister the other day. We're seeing the end times now. This is all very much escalated. Uh, I I personally cannot believe that we've got to this position. And um, it's still going on. After three years, nobody anywhere has managed to get this stopped. Nobody out there has managed to get the skies back to normal. Nobody has ever got this uh, position where the people in power are being held to account. Nobody's doing it. And this is what's very, very frustrating. Every day you wake up 
and you see nothing's changed and it can be quite depressing for some people and I can see that some people are going to be very fearful they're going to be going oh my god I need to put my mappy on my face again and I need to oh I need to stay in my house and I'm going to have to take my um my A's and my B's and my C's and and everything else and just you know, ruin my life that way uh, but I think um yeah you have been warned many times and it's coming soon so the answer is uh, just say no I know it's easier said than done but you have to make a choice uh, is your life at the moment with whatever you've got going to be the same once they get power because I doubt it very much now the other interesting point that I don't know about but I can speculate now if they uh, lock down you're not going to be getting that money so you'll be uh, out of a job because they won't be paying you any money to stay off work so I suspect that what will happen is that they will try and introduce the the UBI as a, a backdoor method because they have said that they won't do it but they are it will be um, like everyone else uh, so what they'll do is they'll say well you know you're off work we've got lockdown um, if you want some money then sign up for a UBI and then we'll give you a regular amount of money every month and you'll be okay ask yourself what you got to do for that money because that's going to be the crux of the matter what are they going to expect you to do to get this money every month think about it nothing in life is free important to remember nothing is life in free and also nothing in, in life is something that you have to do all right so remember when they say oh it's mandatory it ain't it's mandatory only if you agree and you want to be bound by these rules if you're happy to be led by the nose into the abyss carry on if you're not happy with all of that then say no because we're now as I said before in the end game this is the last stages that we're in now we can either win or we can lose if we lose then that is it one last point I will make is that I'm going away abroad I've got my ticket booked and everything's all planned now I'm hoping to be able to get away before all this lockdown shit goes on because I can see that they're going to try and introduce this as a travel restrictions as well so you won't be able to travel abroad They're obviously all of the, the rubbish that we had before um, quarantine and all of that I'm sure that they will try and bring that in as per uh, I suspect that's the idea because obviously they want the um, travel mandates they want to get that done and of course that leads into uh, everything else uh, CBDCs, uh, Central Bank Digital Currency, and of course the whole idea of um, control from ID, digital ID. So it's coming in, and uh, it's coming in pretty much faster now. Uh, it has escalated. Uh, don't, please don't tell me that I am uh, making this up. Because I'm not. The evidence is out there. You just need to go and look and find it. Right, that's it from me. Have a very good day. Catch you later.